Hello Cavers! The format of this video is going to be a little different because I want to take the occasion to thank those who've been watching and providing positive and constructive feedback on this channel. This marks my 100th YouTube video on the topic of caving since I started doing weekly uploads in early 2017. I also recently hit some other significant milestones in that I passed 1,000 subscribers and 100,000 views. The growth of the channel has been steady and has exceeded my expectations and I thank everyone for their support. I also want to explain a little about my caving background, why I'm making videos about caving, and what my goals and future plans are for the channel. My first wild cave trip was in the summer of 1989 to Salamander Cave near Bloomington, Indiana, and my second trip was to nearby Buckner's Cave. It's safe to say I was hooked immediately. My experience was probably a little different than most in that I didn't go with someone with prior experience and I didn't know anything about the NSS. I read the Sierra Club book on caving technique and I learned about these caves through the controversial publication, The Spelunker's Guide to the Caves of the Garrison Chapel Valley. It seems there are many cavers who got their start in these same caves, and while sharing cave location information is still widely discouraged, I may not have gotten started without these publications. I also owe a debt of gratitude to generous landowners like Dick Blends. By the following year, I had met other caving interested students at Miami University, where I was studying chemistry, and joined the Miami Valley Grotto and later the National Speleological Society. My early years were focused on recreational caving in Indiana, Kentucky, and northern Tennessee, and in particular I did a lot of trips in Sloan's Valley Cave, with generous permission from the Crockett family, and visited many of the other caves in Pulaski and Rockcastle counties in Kentucky. My first significant vertical caving experience was in Frenchman's Knob, and later did a number of vertical trips to the Tag region. I've been asked about why I'm making videos about cave trips and tutorials on caving technique. It should be pretty self-evident that these videos are made principally to entertain, educate, and inspire other cavers. I was trained and mentored by cavers who were very open with their experiences and knowledge, and I'm doing my best to pay that forward. I've received a little criticism that the videos show too much information about specific caves, or that they might inspire non-cavers with bad intentions, or that they might encourage people who are not already cavers to want to become cavers. At the same time, I've received a tremendous amount of feedback from cavers who've learned something from the videos and were inspired to do more caving and exploring with increased skill and safety. I also believe that the best way to protect caves in the long term is to get young people involved in the sport, and the traditional ways of doing that through exclusive clubs and secrecy is failing. I'm convinced that the positives of sharing these videos far outweighs the few purely hypothetical negatives. Contrary to some accusations, I am not making these videos to feed my ego or generate any type of financial benefit. I have considered ways to offset some of the costs including advertising, affiliate marketing, sponsorship, and accepting donations through Patreon. So far I have not monetized the videos and would like to keep it that way. Costs include the camera gear, lighting, audio equipment, video editing software, computer and file storage, and a royalty free music service. My intention is to try to keep improving the production quality without the need to ask for donations or turn on ads. Despite having produced 100 videos, there are many more I would still like to make. In the coming year I plan to finish tutorial series I've already begun on rigging techniques and descenders, and I'm planning a series of tutorials on aid climbing, survey data management, and cartography. I plan to continue doing caving gear reviews with a new one roughly once per month. I also have a number of exciting cave trips and expeditions planned for 2019 to many of the longest and most interesting caves in the world that I will capture and share. Mm -hmm.